Now this is a very easy little dish. It's called Arbroath Smokies with scrambled egg. I love it. It's just one of those things. It's a bit like sticky coffee pudding. If it's on a menu anywhere, I'll always go for it. Just want to explain what an Arbroath Smokie is. There's one. Small haddock from the town of Arbroath, quite near Aberdeen in Scotland. The thing I like about them is that hot smoked fish like this are normally oily fish like herring or mackerel but the haddock is a non-oily fish and it makes a very very lovely difference. This is really really smoky so you can get them online and if you're lucky you can get them in some supermarkets but do have a go at finding them. In my view I think this country makes the best smoked fish in the world and a smoky is the top of a smoker's art. Right, first of all then, I've got half a smoky left because I had the other half the other night. So I've taken the bones out of it, but I'm just gonna take the skin off as well so we won't want that with my scrambled egg. Very easy dish, well worth a try. And I'm allowing probably about, this is for two, about 50 grams of um, a smoky per person. So that'll be enough there. Just flake that up a little bit. So, there we go, ready to go with my smokies. And um, break a few eggs. So this is for two people, and I'm allowing two and a half eggs per person. I think two eggs is um, not quite enough. Three is a bit too much as it's very rich. Right, fork somewhere. Whisk, whisk, whisk. My eggs. It's amazing how good these local eggs are. The, the yolks are so lovely and deep and yellow. It does make so much difference. So now a bit of um, seasoning. Just some um, salt. Generous pinch. Plenty of black pepper. Very fond of black pepper I am. Stirry, stirry, stirry. And now, before I start everything, a little bit of a chop of some parsley. I actually think it's probably almost a bit too much at breakfast. It's more the sort of thing you want sort of for a lunch or um, evening dish. That'll do, rough chop, that's getting quite hot. So in goes my butter, lots of butter. That's me and scrambled egg. People say, how do you make such delicious scrambled egg? I just say, lots of butter. You can see that's a lot of butter. Things like 60 grams, I guess. So what I like to do with scrambled egg is just let it set a bit. I learned this from Bill Granger from his first restaurant in Sydney. If you just let your scrambled eggs sit for a little bit in the pan, it just forms quite nice lumps. Just let that sit. And then just gradually move it across. You see it's beginning to cook out. Now in goes my smokies, and in goes my cheese. About 50 grams of cheese. And stir that around. And what I'm gonna do in a sec, when it's beginning to all come together is add some double cream. This has the effect of even making it richer, but also has the effect of stopping the cooking. The, the cardinal sin, I would suggest, the scrambled egg is letting it cook till it's dry. It's catching it while it's still nice and moist. So that's about there. So just to add about 20 mils of double cream. And in goes the parsley now. That is done. That is going to be lovely. I mean, you know, it's very naughty because it's so rich, but it's so good. Basically, all you need with this is some toast. 